the Illini began John Gross's second season by undergoing three days of SEAL Team physical training in June. The training was designed to enhance communication and foster team unity, mental toughness, and togetherness. True champions love adversity. They're like, yeah, put me in there, coach, put me in. And people that aren't champions are like, oh man, I don't want to go up against that team. They won 19 games, they won 19 games in a row. I don't know if I want to go against those guys. If you are true champions, what we do in the next three days will not phase you. If you're not a true champion, it's going to suck. Because champions love adversity. I think we got a lot out of it. Um, there's a lot of challenges and the obstacles that were presented towards us throughout the you know, two sessions of SEAL training. And I think uh, we, we kind of united as a group to find ways to accomplish those obstacles and do those challenges. And I think we bonded more as a team with that closer. It brought us together as a team, helped us make us build team chemistry, um, helped like some of the newer guys get closer with the older guys and just help us learn a lot about each other. I think that that helps us a lot, um, especially with so many new people. I mean, I think back then everybody was as close as we are now, so that really um, kind of brought us together as a team. The coaches were doing it with us as well. One, two, three, For me, I think the tough is waking up that early uh, every morning, but um, I think uh, everything really tested uh, different abilities um, for each person. Um, I think. I think it helped me uh, kind of lead a little bit more. I couldn't swim. A couple people on the team can't swim, so they kind of faced their fear and did that and kind of trust their teammates to uh, help them through. So uh, it helped out a, a lot of areas. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Finish. With nine new guys, you know, it's all about teaching them the ways we do things around the University of Illinois. The team always has to be together. If one person strays away, that can hurt the team a lot. You know, I feel like our whole team, we got like dogs on our team, and that's what Coach likes. He likes competitors. Illinois opened the season with five games in 14 days, all at State Farm Center. Illinois and Alabama State tips off shortly after 7. The Illini out early for some of their warm-ups wearing the all-orange uniforms for this season opener tonight. Illinois heavy favorite. The orange hush will be in effect tonight as it was in the first game last year. Talk about that a little bit. And maybe, you know, last year I think some folks were a little bit confused by it, but maybe the word's out a little bit more now. Yeah, maybe it is. We had Preston Brown on the radio with us a couple times this week, and, and he's getting the word out there about it. And so hopefully some, some people heard it. And it's, it's kind of a neat deal. And last year was pretty good, and I think maybe this year could be a little bit better if, if the word's out there a little bit more. But uh, until Illinois scores its 10th point, the, the fans will remain completely silent. Hagwood is jumping up at center against the Alabama State man at center and the tap is won by Nana Egwu and this uh, season is underway here in 2013. Right wing pass to Abrams for three and he buried it. 16-20 for the first half. 8-5 Illinois entry pass Eke. Right wing Bertrand. Dribble drive right baseline. Shaked his man off. Fired a baseline oh. jumper and he got it for two and there's the cheer from the orange truck. Rice nearly stripped it. Defended to the corner by Bobby Brown. Now stolen by Kendrick Dunn. Two on one break. Tracy spin drive. Layup. Oh. Here is Abrams on the break. Tracy, left corner man, open Rice for three. Got it. The Tulip is in. The Illini knocked the ball away from Alabama State. Going on the alley-oop. Tate to Bertrand. Go get it, Joe. Slams it in. Oh, wow. And that's it. Final score, Illinois 80. Alabama State 63 here in Champaign. Playing four games in nine days. We're going to play again on Sunday. I thought our effort today, I thought our hearts, which is really important to me, and our minds were in the right place. I thought we had great want to, we had great energy, we had great team, it was really good. Now we've dinged some stuff up and we'll get cleaned up. Okay, but we gotta have that all the time. The challenge is now to have that game in, game out. 6-1 Illinois, 6 oh. for the half. Pretty move by Bertrand, oh. spins away. Here's Bertrand, drives in right oh, side. Man. Nice pass, underneath to Colbert. Nice thing to the basket, big block by Nana Egwu. Iki, the three. Oh, it's good! Iki! Got him, but you gotta beat him. He's the cup holder oh. team. How about Rayvante Rice? Junior and Champagne native Rayvante Rice was key in helping the Illini to a 5 0 start. The hard work Rice put in last year while sitting out as a transfer was paying off. 
as soon as I got here on campus. I mean, uh, I was working out with uh, Coach Bash, did a couple extra things, but uh, I came here at 267 and uh, lost like almost like 34 pounds. I'm down to like 232, 233 right now. And uh, Coach, Bash is, Coach Bash and the coaching staff just had me working out like uh, almost every day, conditioning, lifting, just getting extra workouts in, just doing extra stuff, just going extra mile. And uh, I feel like that benefited me a lot. I mean, the, the biggest thing for Ray coming in was to get his body fat under control. And the biggest way to get his body fat under control was to get his nutrition under control. So Chelsea Zenner played a huge role in helping lay out a nutritional plan for him. And it helped me, uh, obviously, like guard uh, better players on my play against, like in the Big Ten, like quicker guards, uh, help me with my defense, help me move better on offense, and just it helped me uh, be more versatile. Ray can play 38 minutes a night right now and a year ago 30 to 35 pounds heavier than he is now there's no way he could have been able to do that on november 17th the illini put together their most impressive performance of the young season comfortably beating in-state foe bradley while shooting 40 percent from three and 47 percent overall final score illinois 81 bradley 55 they blister the nets and dustin and geno ford shake hands Brotherly competition. Happy to get this Probably, game over. Yeah, happy to get it over, I think. I told you I want you to have fun. You earned that. You should feel good about that. Celebrate that in your own mind. Have a big smile on your face. Play well. Okay? Now, when we wake up tomorrow morning, it's over. It's gone. So tomorrow we start that mind. Okay, how do I get a little bit better? Show me some film. What can I do better? What can I do better? What can I do better? That should be our mindset individually. It should be our mindset as a team. That's the mindset of our coaching staff. Okay? But enjoy this one. You deserve it. All right? Let's bring it in. Okay, Danny, you got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Finish. After taking care of Chicago State, the Illini hit the road for the first time, a trip to Las Vegas for the first big test of the season, the UNLV running Rebels. John, tell me what you expect tonight. What, do you, uh, what kind of a game do you expect? Well, the Rebels are going to try to push tempo, of course. You know, I think a lot is going to depend on their ability to get off to a good start and maintain that for, for 40 minutes. You know, they, they take on this Illinois club that I think has some experience, has some toughness, and uh, is it, coming together nicely. Well, the Illini on the road for the first time. They take on the running Rebels. Four straight years in the NCAA tournament. Six of the last seven years. They've had seven straight years of 20 or more wins. Left wing, Joe Bertrand, dribble drive, left baseline up and missed it. Follow is good. That was Joe, Joe Bertrand. Illini playing good defense here, five to shoot. Here's a loose ball and a turnover. Fast break, Illinois. Tate ahead to Rice, who slams it in. Joe Bertrand and Tracy Abrams. Top of the key, it comes to Rice. Up for a quick three, and he rattled it in. Top of the key, Ray Monte Rice. Take it over early. He has seven of the Illini's nine points. Here is Abrams, drives to the basket, off-balance shot is good! Abrams knifes through the lane, blocks. UNLV averages seven blocks per game, 16th in the country. I'll say one thing, Wood can really run the floor, too. Dijon Jones connects from deep. Illinois to inbound. Three to shoot, way out top to Rice. 25 foot three, oh. and he buried it. Ray Fonte Rice. He's locked in. Rebound to Bertrand, three on one break. Bertrand gets it back, oh. and a slam oh. dunk oh. on a feedback from Tracy Abram. And the Illini soar to the lead, 22-21. Fly, young man, fly, wow. Five points right now, it's a two point lead. Back and forth from Smith, who rolls it down the game, which is tops in the Big Ten. Kendrick baseline, nice move. And that is all Kendall Smith. Birch brings it up the floor. Smith, corner on the key bag. Give it to him. That is good transition up. Timeout, Illinois. Three minutes out of 200 total minutes. And now, get that by Tim.
lob to Egu. Touch pass to Rice in front of us for three. It's good. Fast break the other way. Rice to the basket. Layup. Great good. move. Great Monte Rice. Bumps into him, leans oh. in, shot up, wouldn't go. Rebound Rice, gets it back, and put it up and in. Where would it be without Revante Rice oh, in this man. half? Out top to Kendrick Nunn, left-handed dribble all the way to the basket, layup, good! Kendrick Nunn explodes to the basket. Good nice throw by Birch, and he puts it down. Here is Tate, drives, kicks, lob, Egwu, layup, good. Great pass. Good feed by Jalen Tate to Nana Egwu as he rolled to the basket. Lana oh, can tie or take the lead here. Here is Tate, alley Great oop pass. to Egwu, who slams it in. I think they found something. And lead changes, Tate drives, kicks to Egwu, top of the key for three. Why and not? Got it. Nana Egwu. And here they come. Here is Jalen Tate, out top, finds Egwu for three. Got he it. got it. He got it. Nana with his second three of the ball game. 59-54 Rebels. Joe Bertrand, right wing dribbles in. Scoop shot is good. Oh. Joe Bertrand. Abrams gets it to Nana. Back to Tracy. In the corner, Iki up for the tie. And he got, got it. it. He got it. John Iki from the right corner for three. Tied at 59-17 to shoot. 33 left in the game. Here is Abrams to Rice. Down the lane, Rebonte. Layup is good. He got it. Great Ray play. Monte Rice with a pretty move. And it's 61-59, Illinois. Timeout, UNLV. The game should be over. The game will be over here if Illinois can get it inbounds. Up 61-59. They put Smith on the ball in front of John Eakey. Looking to inbound. It gets it to Anglo. He's caught it. Ball game over. The Illini steal one on the road. 61-59 here in Nevada, Las Vegas. Let's go. Illinois returned home to face a tough and experienced IPFW squad. And for the second time in as many games, fell behind by double figures. Junior guard Tracy Abrams led the Illini to a second half comeback. Oh man on him, out top to Abrams with three. Down the lane, Tracy layup, good! Tracy Abrams! 209 for the game, Abrams with a spin. Free throw line, jumper, throws it up. How did he make that? It went again. <laughs> Anyway, the game's well, over. I don't care. The game is <laughs> over. The Illini win it by two, and that's all that matters. 57 55, the final score. Second half, I thought we really played. Um, I thought we really played. This guy right here, without him tonight, we probably don't get it done. Okay? He, he willed us. Our guys, you know, responded to um, a couple things I said to him at halftime. So they responded really well. And uh, a big part of that was the guy sitting up here to my right. He, he, he makes sure, you know, he's, he's, he's an extension of, of what I want said and what, what I want echoed. And tonight he did that at the highest level. I've seen him do it since I've coached him. And uh, my gosh, that, that's such a, you know, it's such a valuable thing. And he's, you know, the same thing happened the other night. And everyone wants to talk about his shooting. I mean, you can shove that wherever you Shove him. He got he got seven Matto points on Tuesday night. He dug out four loose balls. Dude's a winner. He wins. I'm living with that. Yeah, he wins. I mean, he's he just his mindset. He's just a tough kid. The Fighting Illini would spend most of the first week of December in Atlanta. Their first trip would not end well. Despite building a 12-point second-half lead at Georgia Tech, the Illini would lose a heartbreaker and fall to eight and one on the season. Both Illinois with no timeouts. Here they come, Abrams. Illinois down three, launches one for midcourt. Won't go. Georgia Tech has won the game. Illinois faced Auburn five days later at Phillips Arena. The Illini bounced back with a dominating performance, leading by as many as 32 points in the second half. On the lane here is Abrams. Alley-oop to Bertrand. 
Top of the key. Back in front of us to Hill. Long three. Zigzagging all the way down. Now he alley oops it. Down low and a stuff for Illinois. After the disappointment across town against Georgia Tech, the Illini blow out Auburn here at the Phillips Arena. Yeah, really proud of uh, the way that we came out. We stung them, man. Great example of the toughest team sets the rules. Okay, you guys set the rules right from the beginning of the game. Speaking of toughness, man's back. Oh. Obviously, the newer guys know who Sam is. Sam obviously helped us last year in more ways than I could possibly think. Okay, unbelievable. He epitomizes what it means to be tough and together and what a matter of guy. That's who Sam is, that's who he was, that's who he still is. Okay, he's a winner. Okay, and we're working really hard, Sam, to keep building on uh, what some of the guys in here and you guys did uh, last year, and we're on our way. We got a shot. We got a Sam, you got it! Dartmouth in next for a 7 o'clock tip off on Tuesday night at State Farm Center. That's going to wrap up our coverage for today. And we'll talk to you again on Tuesday for more Finding Illini basketball coverage. Illinois defeated Dartmouth for its 29th straight home non-conference win at State Farm Center before taking the long trip out to the Pacific Northwest to battle the nationally ranked and unbeaten Oregon Ducks. Okay, we're preparing to play well tomorrow night. All right, so everybody's got to be locked in. Well, you came here. You want to play good teams. You want to. Have, you like challenges like this. You want to play on national television against national teams. Okay. All right. They're good. So look, they may go on a six nothing. They might make two threes in a row. <coughs> we can't like look. You know, act like it's the end of the world. We got to keep our head up and stick to the game plan and grind them for forty. Grind them for forty. All right. Good job today. Okay. Good job, Joe. You got it. One, two, three. All for one. One for all. One, two, three. <laughs> finish. <laughs> Guys like to like to get after it and fill it up a little bit, and you know they're over 90 points a game, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun to watch. And they're shooting 53 percent, and Illinois is only allowing 38 percent. So something's got to give there. Exactly, something's gonna have to give. Illinois is one of the best defensive teams in the country. Uh, Coach Ford does a good job of them keeping them. Uh, Coach Ford, Coach Walker, all those guys. Coach Parham, they're sitting right here. Um, they uh, they do a good job of making sure the guys stay after it on defense. But yeah, it's it's gonna be. Um, a good test for them. It's, it's probably the best one that they faced uh, to this point in the season. Well, this kind of has the feel of kind of a heavyweight fight here as you get ready to step on the court. Here is Ankwu to jump it up at center with Austin. The Illini win the tap. And we're underway here in Portland, Oregon. Bertrand looking for a pick from Nana Egwu. Rolls to the top of the key now to Tracy. Seven to shoot. Tracy pull up. NBA three is good. Tracy Abrams for three. Tracy to Iki. Good ball movement to Bertrand. Drives in baseline. Oh, and, under, and he slams it in. Across the timeline from left to right, drives down the lane. Revante with a left hand, and he lays it in. Revante Rice on the left sideline, dribble drive around. Moser goes to the basket, lays it up and in. And they said that might be there all night. Oh, yeah. Finds Morgan, puts it on the floor, up with a left hand, it's good. Hey, he's Maverick Morgan, he is really getting better. A half, 20 to shoot. Here is Abrams, dribble drive to the basket, layup is good. Finally got a layup. It falls go. in. Foul on the way in, count it. Free throw with tie it. Pass ahead to none. Here he charges up the right side, takes it to the basket, and lays it in. He's a finisher. 841 Illinois to the basket. Khalees drives in. Offensive foul. Hitting the floor down there is John Eakey out near midcourt. 4841 Illinois. Backdoor cut. Rice. Layup. Good. Abrams to Rice. They team up for two more. Timeout. Oregon called by Dana Alban. 50 to 41. The Illini have forged up by nine. There's a pass to Kalis, bad pass, threw it to Moser, intercepted, Bertrand with the slam at the other end. In the right corner, long, long three is good. Kalis buries the three, kicks in the right corner, Moser on the deck, bounce pass across the lane, and a stuff for Elgin Cook. Here comes Oregon, left wing Kalis, puts it on the deck, drives in, off balance shot, banks it in, high game. 
Now 337 left. Tracy kicks to Egwu for the lead for three. Let's and go, he got it. Nana Egwu oh, with a three. Oh. Gonna go set a screen. Left wing Moser springs open. Left wing three. Got it. Oh, that's a that's a big one. Stolen, Stolen by Lloyd. Layup. Good. Ball game over. 71-64 Oregon. They're gonna win it here in Portland. So Oregon goes to 9-0. Illinois suffers its second loss of the year at 9-2. We're just right there. You know, Coach Willis talks about how we're, we're just one step away. And we really are. I think we just need more of a killer instinct. As Coach, uh, as McGuire, Sergeant McGuire said, you know, sales training, more of a killer instinct to, you know, to keep attacking as the game gets uh, closer and closer and as the game, you know, starts to wind down. We kind of strayed a little bit at the end, but that's with us. We lost the game, but um, I think we, we can put that together. So um, I think it kind of tested, every, tested the team, and so now we see kind of what we're made of. We can uh, build on that and uh, make, a, make a better team out of ourselves.